Dean, first of all, how's the squad looking ahead of a quick turnaround from Saturday? Yeah, um, we haven't got everybody fit. Um, I don't think any squad will in their division will have that at this moment in time. But, um, but we've got to take the positives from Saturday, take the positives from the last six games. Um, we've got eight points from our last five games and we've got to continue to keep that points per game record. Um, we all know it's going to be a tough game. You know, we're not going up there under no illusions. Um, they've won the last three on the bounce at home, Stockport, the favourites for the division. And they've got some really good players, um, a lot of experience, but we've got some good players as well. So hopefully our qualities can uh, can affect the game in a, in a positive light for us. But there's no doubt we're going to have to go up there and first and foremost, we're going to have to walk our absolute socks off. Um, we're going to have to defend deep at times, defend hard at times, and we're going to have to make sure we're good in the top end, better than what we were Saturday. What, what challenges do you feel Stockport will, will, prevent, will prevent, uh, present to us on, uh, on Tuesday evening? It's got a lot of players, very technical side. Got a lot of ability in midfield, a lot of ability in the top end as well. They've got Tiger Man and Quigley, so they've got loads of, a lot of experience as well. So there's no doubt they'll uh, try and manage the game the way they want to do it, but we've got to, we've got to put our stamp on the game as well. You know, we've got a lot of power, a lot of pace, um, and we've got to make sure we hold them at that. How, how does this busy schedule provide an opportunity to, to look at our squad depth and would it be called upon? Yeah, it's always called upon. You know, look, at the end of the day, we've got some big players missing. That's just the way it is. That's the business. Um, but these are exciting games. These are the games where we're in this division. You know, we want to. You know, I'm not saying we deserve to be in the division. And Stockport are a big side as well, a really big football club. So, you know, we, we have to go there and stamp our authority on the game. We've got enough about us to do that. And it's a good test for us as well, um, especially coming off the back of the way we lost Saturday, which was a little bit, in the end, very frustrating, the way the game petered out. But we've drawn a line underneath that. We spoke about that yesterday with the players. And uh, our players, to be fair to the reaction was excellent in training yesterday, and we're really looking forward to the game. It's not going to be easy, that's definitely true. But we're looking forward to the challenge and see can we step up to that. We stick our chests out. And we've got to take the game to the opposition. That's what we'll always look to do. Uh, how have we assessed Saturday's performance, and, and are we how are we using that to, to uh, as a positive effect for for this evening? We've just got to learn from it. That's the standard. If we want to be at the top end of the division, that's the level. That's the standard. The way their ten walked these socks off. You know the way that two centre halves never made any errors all game. I thought the two midfielders were excellent for them as well. That the spine of their team was excellent. They made too many errors in the game. So we haven't really had a lot of errors in the game, even against Borum Wood when we lost one nil. And I think we'd four chances and they'd won. We'd no real errors running our game. And um, we've got to get back to having no errors in the game. And, that, and that's that's the fundamentals of this business. If we're going to continue to stay on the points per game ratio, we're at, we can't make any errors, and individual errors or collective errors. You know, we've got to be fully focused on our jobs. We've, we're set up to go. You know, try win the game, which is really important. We've got a lot of ability within our group. But we need consistency. And that's that's uh, that's crucial at this uh, at this stage of the season. It's a long way up, but I'm sure we'll be back with our, by our fantastic supporters once again. Yeah, anyone's, any of the lads that are supporters that are going to travel up there, like, we really appreciate it. We know it's a Tuesday, we know it's tough. I think the last train out of, out of there is around just before 10 o'clock. So very, we really appreciate it. It's a, difficult, it's a difficult journey, but we'll appreciate it. And hopefully we'll give them you know, smiles on their faces come 10 o'clock tonight. And under the lights on a cold Tuesday evening at Edgley Park really should make for a, a great occasion, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's, look, it's a great game. It's a proper game, it's a proper game of football. So we've got to go up there and make sure we come away with, you know, to first and foremost, make, make sure we don't get beat and, uh, and see can we, you know, put our ability and our attributes on the game, stamp our authority on the game. And uh, if we do that, we've got an opportunity to win. You know, Yeovil have been up there and won, Dagenham have been up there and won. So teams have been up there and won. Um, and we've got to make sure we try to uh, replicate that.